Welcome everybody, I'm Craven, and this is The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Uh, I, just, I saw this game on a discount on Steam and... You know, I like my mystery games. I like just walking around, figuring things out, developing theories and seeing how this goes. And yes, even though the discount made me went and check out this game, after I saw some pictures and footage of this, I thought, you know what? This might be a nice one for us to play it together, and that's what we're gonna start today. So, without further ado, let's just uh, get straight into the game. Third part shape is shape based details, observe everything. Yeah, that's what we usually do. Uh, my dear Nicole. Uh, you are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things weren't always easy. But remember what Dr. Fanning said after your speech at the high school graduation? Uh, Fate with a dragon and one must brandish sword and shield. Sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. I've always thought of you as a fighter who faced with the toughest challenges. Is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father. But now, I need to tell you a few things before his illness separates us. Okay, so this is uh, basically, so far as I can tell, uh, about the aftermath of a suicide of a woman. I think. But uh, we'll figure out this further as we go. But that's really read as a suicide letter, to be honest. Can we push ourselves through this? Are we allowed? The affair your father had with a young woman nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. Okay, so the lines beneath the letter is the thoughts she has while reading this. And it's this one woman they are talking about that commits suicide. Is that Rachel Foster? Or is that somebody else? Uh, that your father had irreparably betrayed uh, our trust and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder at the first game, when you saw up that night in a room you didn't recognize, and when you kissed Duncan Forbes under the Christmas mistletoe in 1985, you marched against ab abortion in your first year at college. That escalated a little fast. Uh, Duncan was a good kid, but even if I've never said it before, I immediately thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Talking is the foundation for every relationship. You don't talk, you drift apart. There's so much uh, to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. Yeah, first of all, I'm sorry. Alright. And what's he sorry for? For the relationship or the fact that she might have taken her life? I've never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like you have, uh, my love. I want you to be free from the past, once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say. Sell our hotel. Yes, the thoughts are, sell our hotel. The hotel is my family's, and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mr. Jenkins, to give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone long. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your in university loans and give the rest to the girl and family. Let's end this story once and for all. Yes. Looks like there are tears or something on these letters. Dr dried up already, but they are definitely tears. 
uh, maybe from when uh, her mother wrote this. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth, but that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worthy living for, fighting for, or dying for. Believe me, I love you above everything else. Your mother. June 24, 1991. There's a lot of people attending. And even the skies are sad because they are really crying. Raining over all the umbrellas here at the funeral. Okay, so I'm assuming that we are gonna play Nicole, who is going towards the hotel mentioned in the letter to sell that stuff. And the bad weather crossing Montana is yes, missing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clark County? Yes, like I said, we're going to the hotel and I'm going to assume we're going to find there a lot of documents about the history of our family and apparently Rachel Foster, which I think is the girl that broke up that marriage nine years ago, or at least uh, fractured it a lot. Hello from Montana, 1962, 1965? And 1943. Yes. Ah. So it looks like that's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Okay, as I was saying, it looks like we have arrived. And like she said, it looked like it was uh, here for the last time nine years ago when the girl uh, that uh, ripped the marriage apart killed herself. So I'm getting to, um, to strongly believe that that is about Rachel Foster. So let's have a look around, because there is going to be a lot of us uh, for here to look around on and to interpret. Alright, so mouse button zooms in. That's the wind of the winter nights. Probably can't enter it, carry duck? No. Warning, a uh, moving door can cause seriously injuries or death. So let's be careful with that. Now we can also shift to run. Uh, you want to get in here like a breaker box or something Ooh, motorcycle observe can we open it up or I just observe that's it hey, Leonard's motor bike so who's Leonard Part of the family? Oh, no, we saw it scratched through in the letter. I think that was her father's name. Ah, okay. So can we look at this car? Mom's car. Uh, 
Uh, welcome. Check in reception hall and locker room. Hmm. Since everything is here, I want to go to the locker room. Uh, faded mural. Established 1920, Timberline, Helena, Montana. It looks like our boxes are in front of here. We can get through here. I do see shoes on the other side, but let's not assume there's anybody here, because I don't know if that's the type of game. Because I don't know if this is a thriller or horror or just a mystery game. So much here for us to find out, because this is a true blind parade through for me. So I'm really gonna enjoy this. Alright. Nixie Sword. Flower. The had to check the office first. It should be just beyond the Mountain Museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Boiler room. And maybe later on we'll be able to access more stuff than this. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. Where, where is the phone? Where are you? Oh, wait, office. Yes, this must be it. Just too late, or was this supposed to happen? <laughs> Let's listen to the voicemail. Nine one one emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Okay. So. Mr. McGrath. Hi, oh, it's okay. Holly from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you. But as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard. But my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh... Very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it, I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours, don't run off, all right? Did it? Yes, okay, so it was our attorney. We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, she probably trusted the potato head a little bit more than uh, Big City Lawyer, so yes. So the two messages in front of those voicemails were from a long time ago, probably. So what was that 911 call all about? Sounds like someone called there and then they tried to call back to see what's going on. Oh, press M to open map. Then that's a big map. Uh, dining room, fireplace, ballroom, restroom. Uh, yes, Mr. Jenga said he left the management key in the master suite. Next floor, previous floor. Chairs, locker room, garage. That's where we came from. Okay, second floor. First one, master suite. Okay, so it's probably there. Damn, this is a this is gonna be a big plate. There's a lot for us to uh, discover here. Let's keep on walking. 
Leonard McGrath, Master in Astrophysics. Will that mean anything in this game later on, or is it just uh, some extra information? Financial records. Yes, snowy weather outside. Okay. Pen, probably last used by our father. Open desk. Glasses. Lucky stars. Famous brand. NASA empty cup, not even coffee stain, so he didn't use it. Okay. Observe. Anything strange? <laughs> we can swing it all the way out, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> Let's try not to break stuff because we are trying to sell this joint. We do not want any trouble, at least not at the moment. For now, we just want to go through the official channels, check everything, make sure that when we sell it, it's all going to be worth it and we'll be rolling to do. Yeah, mom said we need to compensate the girl for it, but the thing is. Is going to be our money, so we are going to be the ones going to decide what we're going to do with it. If we're going to uh, give her that money or, or keep it ourselves, I think that's something we just need to decide later on if we learn about this more. Because they had to put on a very serious guilt trip while they uh, try to get me to uh, do something with this. Hmm. You are here. Okay, that's probably when it isn't snowing. All things in boxes, like they're already trying to uh, move stuff out before the sale. Is there anything we can use for this? Ah, come on, I always want to press a bell like... Ding ding! Yes, come in! Do you want a room, sir? Well, you're in luck! We are all faking this entire weekend. It's because of the snow. No one wants to come in here when it snows, but in the summer, when it all is beautiful, we got no room for you. But for now, here you go. Ah, always wanted to be like a salesperson in a hotel, like a concierge or something. Yeah. All right, let's see. Can we see on the map where we are? Uh, main room. So we are probably at the mezzanine of the hall. These are really official um, schematics uh, for a place. I really like that touch. Fireplace room. I think the best thing we can do is just try to see if we can get our way until the management key in the master suite. So I think we need to go upstairs for that. And there's the museum. Yeah, it's probably the same road. So let's see if we can get up the stairs here. And of course, whatever we see along the way, we'll check it out, see if it's important, see if it teaches us more about the past. And especially uh, what happened with Rachel and why potentially she killed herself. If she killed herself at all, because you know. We've done mysteries more often, so we keep an open mind. Alright, more boxes. <laughs> Generic art everywhere. We just see the hotel more often, of course. Different hotel rooms. Ooh. A lot of things are locked, which I, I should expect, because an hotel is going to be so big if they open up everything. You'll be busy hours scouring through the entire place. Even though maybe not everything is a necessary information source. Even with the distorted glasses where you're looking through, it does look nice having uh, a little bit of snow on the other side. But yeah. I think we don't need to go to the second floor. Uh, we're not gonna go on a searching spree 
a lot until we get to the Mars suit and get the key, because that means we can get everywhere. But I will look at the places we do come across. Ooh, pen. Ooh, this is the same pen. Probably some generic pens we've used for the entire hotel. Bathroom. Toilet. I wonder if the toilet still works here, because apparently this hotel has been closed for a long time. And you already got to notice that the company was going to be disconnecting this entire thing. Nice tubing. Aircom. Faced. <laughs> Coyette. I, th I think it's like the cold gates of uh, this uh, place in Montana. Well, if you are in Montana and you see this, is this an actual brand or is it like uh, a gamer safe edition of something that is well known? Which, of course, gamers do a lot, which I can appreciate if we know what they're talking about. Ooh, a dressing doll. This reminds me of a synonymous uh, Somnia that I played. <sighs> dressing dolls were a big thing in there, so yeah. I wonder if it's gonna be a big thing in this as well. Alright, let's walk a bit further. World music, new wave explosion, the cult with no barriers. Uh, tapes. Pack of cigarettes? Gonna be like the same brand? No, it's definitely a different brand than my father uses. That thing seems to be closed. Let's check it. Yes. Ooh, look like a church down there. Huh. I wonder if we're able to go there later. Or if this is gonna be fixed around the entire hotel. More world music episodes. The future is new color. Oh, you have no idea. Flat screen, 4K, that kind of stuff. It's a beautiful time we live in. Ah, and another bathroom. Pluto. Again, generic uh, recipes. <laughs> Genie super loot. Nemo. Mada. And like I said, I always wonder if it is an actual world brand hidden in these names. Cuth. And Binston. I, that was the other cigarettes we saw in the hallway as well. I recognize the colors. Lots of cigarettes and pills here. And we're more interested in the combs, apparently. Yeah, some kind of... Ooh, Leonard's pills. Are we in Leonard's room? No kinds of brands or anything. Nice, uh... Coloring of the toilet. Could have been cleaned a lot more in the last uh, recent years. Is that a kitty litter box? Ah, oh, don't tell me there's a kitty hidden here somewhere. Hope we got out with the hotel. Because if it's Leonard's room, then this is the master suite, so we should find a key here somewhere. Alright, let's see. Uh, property address. Uh, dear Miss Nicole Wilson. This is to inform you that the nominated personal rep representative, Claire Wilson, is intended to transfer the property of Leonard McGrath's last will and testament. All the ownership rights and responsibilities are now attributed to the recipient. Please acknowledge receipt of this letter and confirm indication your consent to above transmission. Returning it to me in a correct envelope. If I do not receive your objection to the proposed transfer, I will assume that you accord to it and that there will be no any future problems regarding the ownership of the property named above. Thank you for your attention in this matter. No problem. Uh, last will and testament. 
Uh, here I, Leonard McGrath. I direct all my debts and expenses of my last illness, funeral, burial, be paid soon after my death as a very reasonably convenient and here with my personal representative here. An author appointed to settle and discharge in her absolute discretion any claims made by my estate. Alright, so my personal representative is of course Claire Wilson, as you saw. This position of property to first beneficiary Nicole Wilson. Of course, that's us. And Claire Claire is my mother. And yeah, we, they she referred to her maiden name after of course the divorce with Leonard. With the um, assumed affair he had. <laughs> Mathematical physics. Yeah, he did have his uh, degree in it, so it's not that strange he have it. Ooh, food. Like he was eating at the moment of uh, his death. String theory. Ooh, that, that's hardcore. That, that's real hardcore science. Alright, what's this? Another science magazine. Lucky Stars, which is my father's brand. Star Atlas. Yeah, I don't see anything of interest here. No letters or whatever. Lots of books here. So the, the game is trying to tell us that our father was smart and well read. Okay, I got it. And he was addicted to smoking. Yeah. And that was really, really sure. More of the same time. Pen? Uh, calculations. Just random calculations? Or light bulb flux luminosity. So how bright the light is. Why are you calculating that? Is there a reason for it? Alright. Oh, do we have stuff any tapes we can look at at the TV? My room, my rules. Yeah, that's my room, Nicole's room. Yes, we're gonna end up in there because I'm gonna assume the key will be there. That's probably a picture of me. Oh, yeah, and I will refer to Nicole as me because we are playing that character. That way, it's easier for me to. Refer the data I consume with everything we find more towards myself. Again, can't you so can see your smell, honey? Today I saw Rachel. There's light everywhere. Okay, yes, uh, weird ramblings going on. Ah, Montana. Hockey. It seems more like it seems like a real Canadian sport. Oh, the window. I thought, where was that sound coming from? Okay. I don't know what was busy on with Leonard at the end of his lifetime, but he was very busy researching something. And that is clearly visible here. But what was it all about? Polaroid. Oh, Polaroid. Best thing to use when you want to take pictures of ghosts and unnatural beings. Because they do show up in a Polaroid and their a Polaroid is very hard to fake, so this is where a lot of people with ghost hunting use it. Because you basically you load the film into the device and it develops itself when it comes out. There is no no one in between, so that's why it's harder to uh, fake it. You know what? My room, my rules. We're gonna do that next episode. For now, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, we introduced ourselves to the hotel and uh, looked a little bit around, learned a little bit more about the mother, a father, what the setting is of this game. And next time, we're gonna go into the room, get the key, and start looking through the entire hotel because it's our job as the representative of this hotel before we uh, sell it, before we hand it over, to check everything. And along the way, I'm pretty sure we're going to find a little bit more about my mother, my father, Rachel, and how they are all interconnected with one another. So uh, I hope to see you again in the next episode.
Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time. Bye-bye.